Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are down here in Honey Oi for our tournament tomorrow, but before we get into tournaments and pre-fishing and all that, I just wanted to kind of throw this out here because it's been a tough week for me. Um, on Wednesday, I learned that one of my best buddies uh, committed suicide. What an awful thing. Not exactly sure what happened. I, uh, I talked to him on Sunday and he seemed fine and we texted back and forth on Monday and everything seemed fine and then Tuesday unfortunately he was found so I just wanted to take a minute to say if you guys are going through any issues with anything having a hard time please go get help it's nothing to be ashamed of please if you need help get it some people don't like to talk to family some people don't like to talk to friends they do have a suicide hotline which I'll leave the number right here in the bottom of the screen just please get some help if you need it um, I'm gonna miss my buddy we fished kayaked we worked together for many years and uh, he's truly gonna be missed so with that being said we are down in Honey Oi, as I said earlier I came down and I pre-fished Wednesday the day that I found out about my buddy Jack and then I also just came down and got done pre-fishing today and it's Friday so I did get on some fish on Wednesday uh, nothing big, which I don't think this lake is known for big fish. They are very few and far between. It's going to be probably a lot of numbers tomorrow. Not much size, but hopefully we can pick through the small ones and get into some big ones. So I'll play some footage from pre-fishing on Wednesday and also today. And uh, I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Number five, just a little one, but hey, at least we're catching them. There's one. That's a nice one too. That's a good one. Look at that. The old black and blue jig. Nice. First fish, 14 inch underneath the dock again. It was a big one. There's a bass. That's a nice one too. Let me mark this. So 
got a couple of nice fish in here. Oh, there's a big mama. Where's that? Two of them. Two of them. Two big fish. Cruising. There's one right there. Right behind me. Let's see if we can get him. That third fish of the day, a little 14 incher. There he goes. So we got into some fish. I did see them two decent small mouth, which those were probably at least 17 inch fish, if not 18. So my game plan tomorrow is I'm gonna probably start in that area. I'm gonna work those docks. I think it's gonna be a skipping dock kind of day if the wind cooperates. The water temp is super warm. It's like 83 degrees, 85 degrees. And those fish are gonna be either deep in the weeds or deep underneath the docks because that's the only structure in this lake that I found anyways. By the way, before I go any farther, look at this amazing view. I found this little rest stop about three quarters of a mile outside of town. And uh, this is where I'm gonna stay for the night. I got the truck tent. I'm gonna get all my fishing stuff inside. I'm gonna set up the truck tent and sleep here. But what an amazing view. I'm really glad I found this place. I was gonna stay over at some state land. It was a couple miles outside of town the other way. But uh, I happened to drive by this today on my way down and I was like, yeah, that looks pretty peaceful. There's no signs that say oh, no overnight parking or anything. So uh, you can kind of see the lake there off in the distance and the, of course the beautiful hills of the Finger Lakes. So with that being said, we're gonna get the truck tent set up. We're gonna get the uh, food cooking. I'm gonna cook the food first because that's gotta sit for like 12 or 15 minutes. And while that's boiling and doing its thing, I'm gonna get the truck tent set up. So after that, we're gonna get in bed Hopefully get some rest and uh, see how tomorrow plays out. There we go. Now we're gonna let her rip and start boiling. this in here. Get her closed up. Take it up a little bit. It says let's sit for 12 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna set that there. Set this to the side to get cooled off. And uh, let's get camp set up. There we have it, camp set up. Not a bad little uh, tent deal going on here. Got a little uh, camp pillow here, my sleeping bag, and that's home for tonight. So I'm gonna get some rods rigged up and then we'll go through on what I'm gonna start with tomorrow, kind of my game plan. So we'll see you in a few. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna start with here is I tied on a little popper. 
Uh, the reason I tied that on is because in the morning, obviously top water is going to be key. And that's about the only time they hit unless you get lucky. So I got that little popper on there. And uh, that's probably going to be my first thing in the morning. Because we're starting first cast, I think, is at 545. Then I also have a black and blue jig tied on. I've cut the skirt to about the same length as the hook. Do that so uh, it doesn't affect the action of the trailer and it also doesn't hide the action of the trailer. Um, I'm probably going to put a green pumpkin type of trailer on there. That's what I've been using in practice and it seemed to be working pretty good skipping it under docks. Third thing I got tied on is, I don't have it on here now, but just a swim jig. Swim jig hook. Um, I'm going to end up putting a swim jig on that. I'm thinking going up in those shallows, one, two foot of water, especially with them smallmouth that I saw. I'm thinking that's going to be key for uh, possibly catching the smallmouth. The fourth thing I got tied on is just a drop shot with the weight. I got a uh, 12 pound floral carbon leader for now. I have eight with me just in case they get spooked by that, but just a little eighth inch tungsten hook with a little drop shot. And then I also have just a single hook on there for a uh, wacky rig. I've never really thrown one, and I'm not sure if I will tomorrow, but I hear in desperate measures throw a wacky rig. So I got that tied on the other spinning rod. And then last but not least, I have a chatterbait tied on. Um, I didn't use this at all in practice, but uh, I think it'll be... Uh, It'll be an option. So this is all subject to change. It's all gonna depend if you've ever fished tournaments. Uh, anything can change in a split moment's time. So, but I'm thinking tomorrow the key, if the wind cooperates, the key is gonna be in the morning top water. Get that popper out there. These fish will be out from underneath the docks, kind of hanging in the weeds, stuff like that. And then as the sun comes up and the water starts warming up, these fish are gonna move up really shallow up underneath the docks or out deep in the weed beds, one of the two. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Like I said, I'm gonna start in the morning, just outside the docks, maybe in five, 10 feet of water, probably. Starting off with the popper, and then I'm, as that sun comes up and starts warming up that water, I'm gonna scoot right in and start skipping docks. I got a couple sections that I can't really skip because the weeds are crazy, but it's gonna be kind of tough navigating too because my pedals don't work all that great in the weeds, so I'm gonna have to pedal a little bit, which is no big deal. Just hope, I'm really hoping the wind cooperates. I can deal with anything else besides the wind. So that's gonna do it for me tonight. I'm gonna to go, I'm gonna get everything else packed up and ready to go, and we will see you in the next video for tournament day. So a little middle of the night update. I uh, decided to bail on the tent. A tractor trailer pulled in here and parked and had his engine running for about half hour, 45 minutes. It was super loud. I decided to bail on the tent. So I took everything down, folded that all up. I moved all my fishing stuff from the cab of the truck to the back as I normally would. And the second I got everything out and I got the tent down and packed up, that tractor trailer driver took off. So he must have just stopped. I don't know what he was doing for a half hour, 45 minutes, but needless to say, I'm not setting the tent back up. We're gonna sleep in the cab tonight. Hopefully no idiots show up. It was kind of disappointing because I was just about to sleep, but it is what it is. So update is we are in the cab now. It is currently 11.20. And uh, we're gonna try to get some sleep because I gotta be up about four o'clock, so. We will see you in the morning and hopefully you won't see me again.